Hello friend, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in AutoCAD 2018 metric. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 013 underscore DIABM where you save it. You can also download this file on the website. We'll continue this tutorial where I will stop the last video. Now zooming into this area. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. For the offset, at the specified offset distance point, type 750 mm, press enter. Select this line and offset it down. Press escape to get out of the command. Zoom in into this area. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select, click the down arrow, select the extend command. At the select object or select all prompts, press enter. Zoom in into this area, extend this line, this line, hold down the shift key and delete this line, this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Now select this line, this short line and this line, hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the line command. At the specify first point prompt, use the endpoint object tab and snap into this endpoint. Zoom in into this area and use the perpendicular object snap, snap perpendicular to this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At the specify offset distance prompt, type 450 on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and offset it down. Select this line, move into this direction and type 750 millimeter. Press enter. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel, click this down arrow and select the trim command. Press enter, trim off this object. Type R on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and hit delete. Press escape to get out of the trim command. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At specify offset distance prompt, type 175 millimeter, press enter. Select this line and offset it to the right. Select this line, offset it to the left. Press escape. Press enter to start the offset command. Type 750 on your keyboard, press enter. Select this line, offset to the right. Select this line, offset to the left. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the trim command. At the select object prompt or select all, select this line, this line, this line, this line, this line and this line press enter now hold down the shift key extend this line this line this line this line release the shift key and trim off this line trim off this line this line this line press enter to end the command press enter to repeat the command again at the select object or select all prompts press enter trim off this line this line this line this line press escape to get out of the command you roll the mouse wheel backward to zoom out and see the results go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command zoom in into this area and specify first point prompt avoid the mouse cursor into this line now move slowly to the bottom line and snap and click into the intersection objects now move the mouse cursor down and snap perpendicular to this line press escape press enter to repeat the line command Upload the mouse cursor into this line move down and snap to the intersection click move the line down and snap to this intersection press escape to get out of the command now look at this area i want this line to align with the face of this one select this line and this line go to the home tab modify panel and select the move command at a specified base point prompt, click on this area. At a specified second point prompt, zoom in into this area. Avoid the mouse cursor and move slowly. Click at the intersection of this line. Now, go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. At a specified offset distance prompt, type 39, 3962 millimeter. Press enter. Select this line and offset it into this direction press escape now select this line 
go to the home tab modify panel and select the move command click on this endpoint and move the line to the line that you just draw press escape to get out of the command now select this line and hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command as the next first object prompts type m on your keyboard and press enter fillet this line to this line 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 press escape to get out of the command zoom in into this area go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command as specified offset distance from type 1219 millimeter press enter zoom in into this area select this line and offset it inside press escape to get out of the command select this line these lines this line hold down the shift key click on this grid this grid this grid this grid now this grid are hot grid the grid turn red release your shift key and click on this grid move the mouse cursor and snap to the end point of this line press escape to deselect the line use a window selection and select the short line hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command as specified offset distance prompt type 3962 millimeter press enter select this line move to the left and click press escape to get out of the command select this line and this line zoom in into this area select this line and this line hold down the shift key click on this grip this grip zoom in into this area hold the shift key and click on this grip this grip now release the shift key click this grip and snap to the end point of this line press escape to deselect use a window selection click above and move approximately you see the short line highlights in the selecting window click hit delete on your keyboard now draw a line from this line to see that if this line align with this line go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command at first very first point prompt start from this point and move the mouse cursor use the perpendicular object snap and snap to this point press escape it slides it offline select this line and hit delete on your keyboard select the line command and start the line from this point and move down turn on the auto mode move down and click press escape to get out of the command zoom in into this area select this line and hit delete on your keyboard select this line and hit delete on your keyboard now select this line and this line go to the home tab modify panel and select the copy command at the specified base point prompt use the center object snap and snap at the center of this circle at the specified second point prompt move and snap to the center of this circle and the center of this circle press escape so that the ground floor plan roof all the plan can update at the same can be updated at the same time select this line go to the home tab modify panel and select the copy command at specifying this point prompt go to the top left corner of the circle and use the center object snap to, to snap at the center of this circle now move the mouse cursor and paste to the center of this circle and to the center of this circle press escape go to the view control and select the ground floor plan to update this view zoom in into this area go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command type m on your keyboard and press enter select this line this line select this line and this line this line this line select this line this line this line and this line press escape to get out of the command now select this line this line zoom out and hit delete on your keyboard select the fillet command again press m on your keyboard and press enter select this line fillet it to this line this line fillet it to this line press escape 
go to the view control and select the first floor plan go to the view control again and select the roof plan zoom in into this area select this line and this line hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel select the offset command type m on your keyboard and press enter select this line and fillet it to this line this line fillet to this line this line 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 to this line zoom out select this line to this line this line to this line press escape to get out of the command press enter to repeat the fillet command type m and press enter fillet this line to this line 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 press escape to get out of the command now select this line and hit delete on your keyboard select this door hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel select the trim command at the select object prompt click on this area use a window selection to select the short line under the door press enter delete this line this line type r on your keyboard and press enter select this line and this line press enter press escape to get out of the command go to the home tab modify panel click the down arrow and select extend use a window selection to select the short line under the door press enter use a crossing window to extend this line press escape to get out of the command go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command at the select object form type 1222 millimeter press enter select this line and offset it down press escape to get out of the command now go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command type m on your keyboard and press enter select this line and fillet it to this line select this line fillet it to this line press escape to get out of the command Go to the home tab, modify panel, click the down arrow and select the trim command. At the select object form, select this line. At the select object form, press enter. Click to erase this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, layer panel and click the layer properties. Highlight the layer 0 and click the new layer button. Go to the start a new layer, name layer 1 and copy all the properties of layer 0. Call this layer first floor slab. Click the color swatches to bring the selected color dialog box and give the slab the color, the index color 253. Click OK. Click the new layer button again. Rename this layer ground floor slab. Press the tab key on your keyboard. Click the new layer button again. Rename this layer to floor edge. Click the color swatches. Select the index color 21 and click OK. Close the dialog box. Now select these lines and click the down arrow move them to the floor edge layer press escape to get out of the command select this line and click on this grid make sure that your auto mode is turned on and snap it to the perpendicular to this line press escape to get out of the command go to the home tab layer panel and click the layer property this will bring in the layer properties manager click the new button rename this layer beyond And click the color switches 
change the color to the index color number four which is cyan and click ok and change its line type to click the load button select this autocad iso 7 100 and click ok click ok to close the dialog box now I click the layer properties manager go to the home tab drop panel and select the line command at the select object from start the line from this point and move the mouse cursor down use the perpendicular object snap snap to this line press escape go to the quick access tool and click the match property select this line and select this line press escape go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command at specify offset distance from type 150 millimeter press enter select this line and offset it to the left press escape go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command press enter trim off this line this line hold the shift key and click this line to extend it trim off this line hold the shift key and click this line to extend it press escape to get out of the command now select this line and this line go and move this line to the beyond layer press escape type re on the keyboard and select the region or press enter to replace the region or zoom in into this area we need to change the line type of this layer go to the layer property go to the home tab layer panel and click the layer properties click the beyond layer and change the line type to a card ISO 100 and click OK. Click OK to close the dialog box. The line appear in the drawing as a solid. Type RE on your keyboard and select the region option. Press enter. Select all this line, this line, this line, this line, these lines and move them to the beyond layer. Press escape. Select this door, this door, this door and hit delete on your keyboard go to the properties palette and select this object use a window selection to select all these objects in the beyond layer select this object this object this object this object press escape select this window and hit delete on your keyboard zooming into this area select this object and this object hit delete on your keyboard select this object this object this object hit delete on your keyboard select this object and zoom in select this object hit delete on your keyboard select this object and hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command type m on your keyboard and press enter zoom in into this area select this line and this line 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 select this line this line select this line this line press escape to get out of the command Go to the home tab, modify panel, click the down arrow and select the extend command. Press enter. Extend these lines. Hold down the shift key and trim off this line. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel, click the down arrow and select the break command. Select this line, move the mouse cursor and snap to this line. Go to the quick access tool and select the match property. At the select source object prompt, click on this line. At the select destination object prompt, select this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Now select this doors and hit delete on your keyboard. Select this door, hit delete on your keyboard. Select this line and this line, hit delete on your keyboard. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the fillet command. Select this line and this line. Select this line this line and hit delete on your keyboard zoom in into this area go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command 
I specify offset distance from type 300 millimeter and press enter. Select this line and offset it up. Select this line, move up, type 750 millimeter, press enter. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and click this down arrow and select the trim command. Press enter. Select this line, this line, this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the line command. Start the line at midpoint of this line and snap to the midpoint of this line. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. I specify the offset prompt. Type 375 millimeter. Press enter. Offset this line to the right and to the left. Press escape. Go to the quick access toolbar and select the match property. At the select source object from, select this line. At the select destination object from, select this line and this line. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the trim command. Zoom in in this area, click and select this area. Select this line, this line, this line and this line. Press enter. Trim off this line and this line, this line, this line, trim off this line, this line, this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Select this line and hit delete on your keyboard. Select the trim command, press enter, trim off this line and this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the layer property. Click and click, click the great new layer button. Rename this layer to wardrobe. And change its color to the index color 43. Click OK. Change its line type to continuous and click OK. Change its uh, line width to 0 0.3 millimeter and click OK. Close the layer properties manager. Now select this line and move it to the wardrobe layer. Press escape to deselect the line. Go to the home tab layer panel and select the make current but command. Select this line. Now the wardrobe layer is the current layer. Click on this line and start a line from this endpoint to this endpoint. Press enter. Press enter to repeat the line command. Start a line from this endpoint to this endpoint. Press enter. Press the enter again. Start a line and draw diagonal to this. Press enter. Start a line diagonal to this. Press enter. Start a line diagonal to this. Press enter. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the offset command. I specify distance from type 612 millimeter. Press enter. Select this line and offset it out. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the fillet command. Type in on your keyboard and press enter. Select this line and this line. Zoom in into this area. Select this line and this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Start the line command. Make sure that the wardrobe layer is the current layer. Start the line at the end point of this line and move the mouse cursor vertical and click. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, draw panel and start the line command. Select the line at the intersection of this line. Move and snap into this line. Press escape. Go to the home tab, modify panel, click the down arrow and select the extend command. Press enter, extend this line. Press escape. Now go to the home tab, modify panel and select the offset command. For the offset distance, type 50 millimeter, press enter. Select this line, offset it, this area, select this and offset it into this area. Press escape to get out of the command. Go to the home tab, modify panel, click the down arrow and select the trim command. At the select object prompts, press enter. Trim off these lines. This line, 
this line this line this line hold down the shift key and extend this line and trim off this line press escape select this line and hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and start the line command make sure that the old group there is the current layer select this line and snap to the end point of this line now move the mouse cursor back into this area and snap into this line press escape go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command at the specific at the select object or select all point press enter zoom in into this area and trim these lines press escape go to the quick access toolbar and select the match property at the select source object point select this line at the select destination object select this line and this line press escape to get out of the command select this block go to the home tab modify panel and select the copy command at the specify this point point use the endpoint object snap and click here move the mouse cursor into this area and snap into the and snap to the end point of this line press escape now select the block move the mouse cursor and snap into this area click this arrow to flip it in the opposite direction change the wall size from 150 to 100 and go to the home tab modify panel and select the mirror command at the specified face point of mirror line prompts click on this midpoint Move the mouse cursor down. Make sure that your auto mode is on and click. Press enter to accept the default. Now select this door. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the off the copy command. At specify base point prompt, copy this this line and move the mouse cursor. Click on this area. Press escape to get out of the command. Select the door. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the rotate command. At specify base point prompt. Click at this intersection. Now move the mouse cursor in this direction and click. Select the door and change the, the wall width to 150. Now flip the door to the other side by clicking this arrow. Click this down arrow and change the opening to 45 degree or 60 degree. Let's flip it the other direction and see. And change the opening to 90 degree to see the results. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the copy command. At specify first this point prompt, click here and move the mouse cursor and copy the door into this place. Press escape, select the door. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the rotate command. At specify this point prompt, click at this intersection, move the mouse cursor, go to the status bar and turn on the polar tracking. Click the down arrow and make sure that the 45 degree increment is checked. Click on this area now. Move the mouse cursor and snap to the 45 degree click. Select the door and click the flip arrow. Go to the home tab, modify panel, and select the move command. At the specified base point prompt, use the endpoint object and snap to the endpoint of this wall and copy move it to this direction. Now we need to greet a uh, open for this room. We need to greet the, the door for this room. First select this door and use the move command. Click and move it into the room. Press escape. Select using window selection to select in this area. Click on this grip. Move the grip and snap perpendicular to this line. Press escape. Go to the home tab. Modify panel and select the offset command. For the offset distance type 150 millimeter, press enter. Offset this line into this direction. Press escape. Press the press enter to start the offset command again. Select this line and offset it down. Press escape. Select this line and hit delete on your keyboard. Go to the home. Go to the home tab, modify panel, click this down and select the trim command. Press enter. Trim off this line. This line. This line. This line. Hold down the control key. The, hold down the shift key and extend this line. Trim off this line. Hold down the control key and extend this line. Press escape. Select these two lines. 
hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command as specify offset distance from type line 100 on your keyboard press enter select this line and offset it to the right go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command press enter trim off this line and this line press escape now select this door turn off the all snap nearest to the menu that appear and snap to the nearest of this line click go to the home tab modify panel and select the move command select this point and snap to this point select the door go to the home tab modify panel and select the mirror command as specified first point from click at this end point and move up select the yes option now go to the home tab layer panel and select the make current button select this line go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command click on this area and move the mouse cursor into this direction type 150 press enter now move the mouse cursor and use the perpendicular object and snap to this point press escape go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command type 900 millimeter on your keyboard and press enter select this line and offset it into this direction select this line move into this direction and type 150 millimeter press enter press escape to get out of the command now go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command type m on your keyboard and press enter select this line and fillet it to this line select this line fillet it to this line select this line fillet it to this line press escape to get out of the command go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command select this line and this line press enter trim off this line type r on your keyboard and press enter use a window selection to select this and press enter on your keyboard press escape to get out of the command select this line and click on the align align block to object grip and use the nearest object snap and align the block into this area now go to the home tab modify panel and select the move command use the at the specified base point prompt click at the end point of this block and snap it into this area now go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command at the specified offset distance from type 900 millimeter press enter select this line and offset it into this direction now select this door and click on the distance grip and change the grip to 900 millimeter press escape when you try one option you see that the option isn't work the way you want it you need to take time and edit and get a better result that way you have a better drawing so let's erase these walls again this line again now go to the home tab modify panel click the down arrow and select the extend command select this line and this line press enter extend these two lines press escape to get out of the command go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command type 100 on your keyboard and press enter offset this line back to 100 press escape try use a window selection to see if there is any object in this area as you can see there is no wall line to cut off this wall so we need to draw that line go to the home tab draw panel and make sure that the 2d wall layer is the current layer you at the specified first point form use the endpoint object snap and click then click on this endpoint press escape select this line and hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command and specifying offset distance from type 750 millimeter press enter select this line and offset it into this direction press escape go to the home tab modify panel click this down arrow and select the trim command select this three line and press enter trim off this line this line this line 
press escape to get out of the command press enter to repeat the trim command trim off press enter again and trim off this area press escape now select this door and go to the home tab modify panel select the copy command click on this area and copy the door into the end point of this line press escape select the door go to the home tab modify panel and select the rotate command at specify base point prompt use the end point object snap and snap here for the base point now click on the status bar and turn on the auto mode or type f8 on your keyboard move the mouse cursor down and click select the door and click the flip arrow press escape to get out of the command now click on this door change the wall width to 150 millimeter and go to the home tab modify panel and select the move command at specify this point prompt move the mouse cursor and snap into this base point at specifying second point or use the first point as a displacement move and snap to the end point of this line select this line and hit delete on your keyboard now go to the home tab draw panel and select the line command zoom in into this area hover the mouse cursor into this end point move the line and snap to this intersection move up to draw the line press escape to get out of the command go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command and specify offset distance from type 750 millimeter and press enter select this line and offset it to the left press escape now use a window selection to select these two lines go to the home tab modify panel and select the mirror command and specifying base point prompt click the midpoint of this line move the mouse cursor up and click press enter go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command press enter trim off these lines this line press escape now select the window go to the home tab modify panel and select the copy command I specify base point from to use the midpoint object snap and snap to the midpoint of this object. Move the mouse cursor to the right and snap to this point and use the midpoint snap to this point. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab modify panel and select the offset command. For the offset distance type 900 millimeter press enter. Select this line and offset it down. Press escape to get out of the command. Now go to the home tab. Modify panel and select the trim command. Press enter. Trim off this line. Zoom into this area and trim off this line. This line. Hold down the shift key and extend this line. Release the shift key and click to trim off this line. Press escape to get out of the command. Select this window. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the copy command. I specify this point prompt. Use the midpoint object snap and snap to the midpoint of this line. Now, at the specified second point prompt, move the mouse cursor and snap to the midpoint of this line. Press escape. Select the window again. Extend the window to 1,200 1, millimeter. Go to the home tab, modify panel and select the copy command. Use this as a base point and move into this area. Hold, press the F8 key on your keyboard to turn off your auto mode and snap into this area. Press escape. Now select this window, this window, this window, this window and hit delete on your keyboard. Select this line, this line, this line, this line and use your window selection. Select this line, hit delete on your keyboard. Select this line. this line this line hit delete on your keyboard select this line this line this line hit delete on your keyboard go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command type m on your keyboard and press enter select this line fillet it to this line 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 press escape to get out of the command
go to the home tab modify panel and select the trim command press enter zoom in into this area and trim off this line press escape go to the home tab modify panel click this down order and select the joint command select this line and this line press enter now zoom in into this area go to the home tab layer panel and select the make current command click on this line go to the home tab modify panel and start the line command zoom in into this area start the line from this point turn on your auto mode and the status bar and move the mouse cursor click press escape press enter upper the mouse cursor into this area move down and snap to this intersection move the line down press escape go to the home tab modify panel and select the fillet command type m on your keyboard press enter select this line and fillet it to this line select this line fillet it to this line press escape select use a crossing window to select into this select this area hold down the shift key and select this line hit delete on your keyboard go to the quick access toolbar and click the match property at the select source object from select this line I select destination object from choose a crossing window selection select this line this lines this line press enter to end the match property command select the match property command again at the select source object select this line and select this line this line this line this line press enter to get out to end the command all right go to the home tab view control and select the custom model view select the first floor custom view go to the home tab layer panel and click the third layer button go to the quick access tool and click the save button we'll stop this tutorial here we'll continue in the next video if you find this tutorial useful please click the like button and share it to a friend if you have any question or you want a specific tutorial please leave a comment below if you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial in my channel please subscribe thanks very much for watching i hope to see you in the next class goodbye